trying to get money. I repeat, we're all trying to get money. But I'm going to ask of everybody that's looking at this video. And you may say it's easy for you to say, Tyrese, because you got it. I'm going to ask for everybody that's looking at this video to try their best to compartmentalize. What does that mean? That means that independent of having money and all of the power that most of us could find ourselves giving to money, to try and identify doing and getting back to the things that bring you joy. Thank you. Getting back to the things that bring you joy. You ever thought about writing a book? You ever thought about the joy that it would bring to have people to know and understand your story? You ever thought about writing a script? If I were to mention 10 of the top writers in Hollywood right now that's writing all of the top movies for all of your favorite movies in Hollywood, none of y'all would know what the fuck they look like. If I were to mention the top 10 or top 15 selling books of all time, in most cases, they're not famous. They're not celebrities. They're just regular folks. They had a vision and an idea about what they wanted to put on paper and it ended up impacting the world and selling domestically and internationally and changing lives. And the books are so powerful, they have to translate it in 40, 50, 75 different languages around the world because it's a message that's so powerful and important, it travels everywhere. Because when you're doing something from your heart, even through language barriers, it will affect hearts. How do I go about writing a book? I'll tell you. What you want to do is you want to record yourself. You want to record yourself. You want to create the title of your book and you want to create these chapter titles. That's what you want to do. You want to create the title of your book and you want to create the chapter titles. Which means the name of my book is This Is Who I Used To Be as a book title. And then as you get into your book, you know how you have the table of content. That's when you develop your chapter titles. This is who you were. Then when my, my mama used to tell me, and it can be whatever the chapter titles that you create for yourself. Then after you come up with the chapter titles, that's when you start recording yourself verbally, recording yourself. Most of us don't type that fast. Most of us have so many thoughts and ideas running through our minds. By the time it reaches our fingers to type it out, we would lose a bunch of ideas. And just like I'm recording this video right now, I could hire somebody or get one of these interns that work at a college that types 90 words a minute and they can transcribe all of my thoughts and ideas and put them in front of me. Next thing you know, that's nice. Next thing you know, you're watching and witnessing your book get developed right in front of you. Understand people, you don't have to be famous to do any and everything that you want to do in your life. Some of y'all right now are so starstruck and caught up in celebrity and fame and paparazzi and all of the glam that come with Hollywood and being a singer, rapper, or an athlete. I want y'all to understand something. I don't actually have a great deal of respect for most of the celebrities that I meet because even though every all of us work our asses off, if you're a regular woman or a regular guy and you end up becoming a multimillionaire, there's no antics, no gimmicks, no press and no TMZ happening. It's just you using your gift in real estate, your visions, your ideas to develop phone apps or some type of technology, something as a regular guy and a regular woman that ends up doing something significant to change the fucking world. So many of y'all feel like I ain't shit unless I'm famous. I can't do nothing to impact the world unless I'm famous. If I'm not an actor in the movie, or an actress, or a model, or the director, I ain't shit. When I did the movie Transformers 3, 
There was 1,100 people working on the movie set in Chicago, and there was only about 15 of us on camera. 1,100 working on the same movie that we're working on versus the 15 that were actually on camera. I want y'all to understand, so many of you guys are so caught up in the wrong shit. If you wanna impact the world, have your visions and your ideas, be obedient to God's visions and ideas when they're sent, move on them, don't allow what you're working with in your actual bank account to stop you from dreaming and hoping and wishing big. Even to this day, I never claimed to be the biggest star, I never claimed to have all the money in the world, but to this day, I can't afford all of my thoughts. But guess what? I'm not intimidated by the thoughts and visions and ideas because I can't afford them. And in most cases, if you're really smart, you'll learn the secret code, which is if you have visions and ideas, you have to specialize and learn how to use somebody else's money. And it doesn't mean you're doing anything shady or wrong because you're saying you're using somebody else's money. It means that a lot of times people with the most money, they don't have the the genius, brilliant visions and ideas that you have. So I want y'all to understand, get out of this mind state of, I ain't shit unless I got money. Get out of this mind state of, I have no hope, I should stop just dreaming and having visions and ideas about my life and my career because I don't have it financially. Also stop putting so much emphasis on famous people, celebrities and stars. If I, were to, if I were to mention Malcolm Gladwell, who is Mal Malcolm Gladwell? Who is, who is uh, Pablo Coelho? Do you know who that man is? What does he look like? Pablo Coelho. Who is he? Now, the folks that have read the book, you're going to write in the, in, in, the set, in, in the notes, Pablo Coelho and Mac Malcolm, Malcolm Gladwell, there it is, there it is, there that. You're going to know. Do you know who they are? You were just in the mall shopping right now. You could have walked right by Pablo Coelho and not even know who he was. Why? He's a multi, 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 multi million selling author. Very successful. And you don't know who the fuck he is. You don't know what he looks like unless you Google him and look him up. So understand, y'all. Stop giving power to celebrity. Stop giving power to being the person on camera. Stop giving all the power to money. Continue to dream big. Continue to have hopes, ambitions. I've learned to dream with my eyes open. When I see it, I get exposed to it, I wanna be it. My job and my responsibility at this point is to give hope to the hopeless, to give inspiration to the uninspired to motivate the unmotivated. Because it's not lonely at the top if you help somebody else get there. I love you. This is my life. What I'm doing with my life and my success, the money I'm making and the places y'all see me going, this, that's my story. These are the things that God had in mind for me. Don't be jealous, don't be envious, don't be hating, don't be writing negative and fucked up comments about my life. This is my story. And when you see me posting videos on helicopters and at royal palaces doing this and doing that, I'm not being flamboyant and flashing. What I'm doing is, through success, I represent the possibility of what you can achieve and what you can do with your life and your career. Other people's success represents the possibility of what you can do. Those are the records that you can sell. Those are the type of tours that you can do. Those are the kind of songs that you can produce and the songs that you can write. Those are the millions of dollars that you can get, or billions. Those are the type of architectural drawings and buildings that you can build. Those are the type of books that you can sell. Everybody else's success represents the possibility of what you could do. But if you don't believe you can do it, guess what? You're going to be some janky ass, lazy, bum ass, depressed, sad, miserable person that wants to invite everybody to your pity party so they can feel sorry for you because you grew up in a dysfunctional house. You grew up in an abuse. You were molested. You were touched. You were raped. You were, you know, you were 
things happen to you that were unfortunate and sad, which is something that can fuck you up psychologically. And is something that could cause you to sit on the pity potty and swim in misery and find yourself not being motivated and inspired to do anything. But guess what? Get off the pity potty. Get your ass out the house. Stop being antisocial. No one is ever going to have you in mind for anything if you don't, you're not seen and you're not on people's radars. If you live in the middle of the jungle and, and freaking Shreveport, Louisiana, some damn where in the middle of the nowhere, no, no disrespect to Shreveport. I love my fans out there. But if you're an actress or a model or somebody who's looking to do something impactful, ain't nobody going to find your ass in no Shreveport. Come on, man. Out of sight, out of mind. No one's ever going to have you in mind for anything if you're not on their radar. People give me love and, and, and invite me into their homes and they want to socialize and hang out with me, but they wouldn't want to do it if I didn't show up. No one will ever have you in mind for the things that you have in mind for yourself. I think I want to do this. I want to do that. I want to do that. Okay, cool. It's beautiful. But how the fuck is anybody going to know that if they don't see you, if you're not on their radar? And you may look at it as fake. You may look at it as thirsty. You may look at it as you're sweating people and being in everybody's face. That's your pride and your ego. Pride and ego is the number one marriage, relationship, and career killer. I'll say it again. Pride and ego is the number one relationship, marriage, and business and career killer. What I look like sweating you being all thirsty all up in his face trying to talk about this little project that I got. Okay, what do you look like not talking about it? You're going to take your ass at home and talk to your friends who can't do shit to help you to get your visions and ideas off the ground. All they go, you know, yo, I got this idea. It's crazy. Tell me about it. Yo, I had this vision, right? And then they're going to listen to what you got to say and they're not going to do a fucking thing for you. <laughs> Understand. Understand, people. I love you. If this right here makes you uncomfortable, it's supposed to. While y'all are looking at my life and everything that I'm posting and all the videos and the moves that I'm making, I love my life. I have no complaints. Whether I got all the money in the world or not, what I have is I have God and I have joy. I have joy. And believe it or not, I turn down way more shit than y'all see me actually showing up to. Because my energy is right. I have no malicious intent towards anybody. They trust me in their homes, their private planes, their mega yachts. They trust me around their kids, their family, their wives. I'm not disrespectful. I have no malicious intent. No one ever can say that I left uh, uh, $20 or $20,000 on the table and the shit came up missing. I am a man who has earned my reputation as someone that you can trust. That's why people continue, and God, more importantly, continue to create opportunities, and, and more importantly, he gives me access to all these things, people, and situations. And as y'all can tell, I'm a thinking man. So if you think just being sexy, handsome, and talented is going to help you to get through life, you got the game fucked up. You got to be a thinking man or a woman that has strategies, visions, ideas, and everything that you're doing and the way you move and navigate is thought about, planned out, and you're in motion. Now, there's going to be a lot of things in spontaneous situations that you could have never planned out, but at least you're in the moment and you're doing your best. I love you. If you make it to the end of this video, this is my first video I've done in a long while. When I ask you to share my videos, it's not because this is a popularity contest. I'm winning already, and I'm grateful about it. I want other people to win. If you click the share button, this video is gonna go all over the world, and that's the power of social media. Somebody needs to hear this, so I need you to tag their name in the video, 
I need you to create a YouTube video and I need you to share this video and have it to go everywhere in the world. If you make it to the end of this video, all I want you to write on my timeline is I shared this video and tag the name of the person that you're sharing the video to. I shared this video. I love you. I'm parked at a gas station <laughs> because I had this message on my heart and I wanted to spread it around the world. Share this video. Spread love. Spread in in inspiration. And you know what? The devil is not going to win. He wants to keep you sad, depressed, unmotivated, and uninspired. You're one of God's foot soldiers. He wants you to save the world through your charitable organizations, through giving back in the community, deciding that, you know what? I'm lonely. Why don't you start interacting with kids and volunteering to be somebody's big sister or big brother? There's so many kids and teenagers out here that could use your passion in your heart to just have a conversation with them about the things that they're struggling with. They don't have a father, they don't have an uncle, they don't have a big brother or a big sister. Do something. Everything that you do to make a difference in somebody's life isn't connected to you cutting a check. You can't give away money if you don't have it, but you can give your time, you can have your presence to be felt, you can make somebody who has, who grew up in a foster home feel like, wow, I have a big brother, I have a father, I have a big sister. This becomes, this is like my mother that I never had. You could do something, but you have to want to do it. Share this video. I'm begging of you. God bless you. I love you.